Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Continental Roleplay Patrol with Billish55. Um, just wanted to start this one off guys, give it a bit of a prefix. Um, we're just about to start patrolling, so I don't know what's going to happen or what's going to go on or anything like that guys, so just heads up on that. Um, but no, I just wanted to really quickly talk to you guys um, and just sort of get caught up with a couple of things because I've not really been quite clear with you guys about where, um, you know, with you know where my software editing has been and everything like that or where my sorry where my video editing has been um so the initial plan was i was only going to take december off for the holidays january things got a bit hectic um during december i actually uh, lost my uncle to cancer so that threw me off for well the majority of december and into january understandably i was planning to come back on january but with uh, losing my uncle and then also a couple of other things um, you know good and bad happening in January it just got so chaotic I did manage to get like one or two patrols done um, but I'll be honest towards the end of January I've uh, and like into February I was like ah, do I upload them do I not so the previous three videos from the one you are watching now guys I think it's about three um, I think the editing will be not scuffed but the footage will be a little bit inconsistent because um i was sort of unclear on my timeline because i was planning on just binning january off which i have done um and just going in with february but i figured i'm not gonna bin off january and i'll at least upload the footage that i got from january because there were some good patrols in that um there are still a couple of things I will be catching up on, guys. So videos will be probably only once a week instead of twice a week. Usually I like to have them twice a week, but for now um, it's going to be once a week while I catch up to patrolling and stuff. Also, I'm just thinking about, you know, with other content, I'm doing that thing again where I'm thinking, uh, what else could I do other than obviously CRP? One game I've sort of got into is um, Transport Fever 2. I'm currently building a map to... Um, essentially work on at a later date um <clears throat> so that i can start like sort of a clean game if you will uh to then do footage and progress the game with i do have some mods for it and all that good stuff um because i'll be honest i'm not too bothered about loans or mod the money aspect of it i just like making things operate and putting you know getting a nice well-oiled machine working that the network of transport isn't these days but at least i can imagine it is in transport fever 2 um also going to be coming looking at coming back to doing some ets2 and ats guys as well um when my time schedule allows it i'll be honest guys time my schedule is busy as all hell at the moment so it's uh, it is difficult to you know it is genuinely difficult to find some free time when i do have it and use it effectively if i'm not absolutely thrashed but i do promise you guys i am i am uh trying to at least keep up with the consistency put it that way anyways without further ado we're gonna get into patrol uh we're gonna sign on here and do all that good stuff um we are in the scored octavia vrs today which is this this particular one is shield take home as uh, shown by the number plate, which is uh, C101 DPS. Um, and it is... The interior is nothing to gloat about. The interior is not... It's very basic. It's not even textured, I don't think. But the lighting on this is very nice, I have to say. Um, and it is a really well-detailed car in terms of the lighting setup and everything like that. So, yeah, I like it. Anyways, we'll get logged into CAD here as well, because that would obviously help. And then I'll just quickly log on here. What's your 20, Hudson? Generally no found, now taking a E. Question westbound turn on to Little Big Man round the back of Mission Row. 
Well, can I get a moving vehicle check, please? Sunday, Hudson. Point will be 459, November, Bravo, Romeo, 45. Go again with that plate. 459, November. Bravo, Romeo, 4-5. Advice, registration is shown as revoked. Comes back to a black Albany Emperor. Um, registered keeper on the document is a Nigel Bradley. Approximately 83 years old, white male. 104, be advised with a red ATS at pillbox on the short direction at this time for travel. Roger, mate. I'm going to uh, stand by at Route 13 in case he heads further north. Dead eyes, vehicle is committed to the freeway. We're heading northbound. The other one on code two. I'm still at the water station. Enemy throw spikes. Negative vehicles at 20 miles per hour currently. I'm just doing a block behind them until I've got additional units. Eh, uh, copy. We're going to have to try and get this vehicle off the freeway somehow. I'll keep a safety block on. I'll need somebody else to handle that, please. Other one, be advised I'm static at Marmark Ralph and just over the bridge. Um, if he comes past Marmark Ralph, uh, the plan will be to get him pulled over into the water treatment plant. That's all right, I'll see you there in about 20 years at this rate. chair up there on that roof doesn't look like it's secured and two uh the plates are way out of date oh no no i just got this vehicle re-registered all right you got documentation from the uh, state chain though simple yes or no sir Okay, so you didn't you remember sticking it in your pocket or? No, my wife did it. Your wife did it, okay. Hudson, what do you want in replacement? Paperwork here looks a little old. Yeah, this uh, you got anything newer, sir? This uh, expired back in 2022. No, that is the new one. That is the new one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have a license on you, sir? Yeah. 
share her home to my wife. <laughs> she said she bought it on the on the inner way. Hey, I got some uh wacky backy odor coming from the chair, mate. My focus smells a little bit further behind it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and sit tight, alright? I gotta go run your information on the computer there. Of all the trucks to hit, they hit the biggest one. Yeah, right. Hi, is it Mr. Bradley? Is it? Yes, sir. Hello. Hi, uh, um, my name's Will Shield. I'm the uh, I'm from the San Andreas Department of Public Safety. Um, just a quick one. Can I just ask where you've got this chair from, please? Uh, I bought it downtown. Uh, it was like um square of apartments. There was a lot of people drinking on the streets. Oh, okay. Do you know? Do you remember the name of this place at all? Something. Jamestown Street. I think I think that's probably the one. Okay, so is that where you're coming from tonight? Yes. Okay, happy days. Okay, and where are you heading to? Are you heading back up towards the county? I'm heading home. I live. Uh... Mhm. Mm Where's home for you? Uh, it's just up the Sonora Road, just there. Uh, La Forda Blanco. Okay. All right, my colleague's got some more questions for you, but we uh, might need to uh, check your chair out once he's done with the traffic offences, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Sorry, Hightail. Yep. All right, so, uh, Mr. Bradley, your license has uh, been revoked because it expired. Like, uh, yeah, it's not even strapped properly either. Oh. Yeah, Do you have anybody who cool. can come pick the three club for you? What's up, mate? Basically, the first 311 came from Jamestown. Does your wife have a valve? About, about having a person, basically, that vehicle with a chair just loosely sat on it. Okay, so... Right, okay. Driving extremely slow, and obviously, I followed him from. by Mission Row. Yeah, Is that where the second speed never went to come from? That, yeah, his right, speed okay. never went above 20. Jesus. Yeah. That's why I got it. Yeah. Well, Probably rather you than him, I suppose. Yeah, so I guess my truck did its job. Yeah. To an extent. I don't think this is a new delivery service just arriving. Give it a second. Oh, wow, what the hell? Did you say so special delivery? What's this Uber Sheriff now? Practically. May as well be. I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, mate. Well, sir, why don't you go and step out for me, alright? I didn't know the BCSO had a new door. Keeping this in here, my hands don't work like they used to. You know any weapons in the car I need to be worried about, sir? Got a walking stick. You got a walking stick? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and step over there in front of your car, please. Alright, sir, so here, here's the deal. You're not going to be able to drive the vehicle out of here because we need to have it, uh, it needs to be registered. And here's all your documentation back. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take the vehicle down to the city impound there, Davis. Uh, you'll be able to pick it up once you get a proper registration on the vehicle. Uh, however, if you want, you can also have someone take you down there to get your personal belongings out of the vehicle. Are you okay, sir? Because you look like a little wobbly there. Oh, no, I'm fine. My legs just don't work like they used to. Okay, when was the last... Uh, have you had any drinks recently, sir? No, sir. No, no. And have you taken any drugs recently? No. Okay. Do you mind if I check your eyes, sir? Yeah, sure.
enemies are both playing in there. All right, sir. Can you do me a favor? Can you uh, look at that sign over over there, the Incoming big green one over there? Tell me what it says. Don't want to got any units free for that. Behind the chair. Are you two good handling this? I'll break up and handle yeah. that one. Sir, if you yeah, can step over this way, you probably see that. There you go. Right, can you read that sign for uh, me, that big green one? Hey, Sheriff. Yeah, one second. Santos. Get uh... more Santos. All right, sir. Why don't you go ahead and lean up against the car there so you don't fall over? I'll be right back, okay? Do what? You saying this? Uh, let me check here. Yeah, I think so. Take this cut out here. Yeah, alright. Yep, gotcha. Alright, Mr. Nigel. When was the last time you had a puff of weed? I've been smoked in my whole life. Alright, does your wife smoke? No. Okay. Because uh, what we got over there in that, uh, in that there chair you got up there. Did you get that chair from somebody or did you find it on the side of the street? Oh, oh this is interesting stuff. brought it from somebody. You bought it from somebody? Okay. And did they tell you to take it any, anywhere specific? Or you what? know what, guys? Just because I'm feeling it, I'm going to roll with the webcam. I can show you the advertisement I got it from. It was on, it was on the market. Yeah. Uh, oh, don't want that one. Right, well, that one's the right, right well, one. Give me one second here. There we go. Oh, for previous, uh, we do have a five six somewhere on the freeway. I just got him. Gonna be close to post for three zero four seven. Jesus Christ! Standard fire copy. Would you like somebody to come up here and help you out? Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, did you know that, uh, there was stuff inside the church? Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting, guys. Got a brick of weed inside this chair that he's loosely. What do you mean stuff inside the chair like uh, yeah, like it's about 50 springs. grams of okay. like Well, that's a small brick, but okay. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Well, I wouldn't take that stuff into my house. Even my children and my children's children are allowed to touch that. So what we find?
Pioneer Director. Um, well, he's, he's claiming that he's bought the chair from Jamestown, so I'm not sure what, what, uh, how he's come to be in possession of the cannabis, to be honest. Um, Mr. Mr. Bradley, um, where exactly have you picked this up from? Do you remember what address it was? No, uh, I would have to, uh, check on my map and my phone for the exact address. Okay. Do you have a receipt or anything like that at all? No, no it wasn't from a store. It was from, it was from an apartment. Okay, no, that's fine. Did you, how did you come about, or how did you happen to find this chair? Was it online then, or was it an advert in the newspaper? Uh, it was, uh, it was on the, uh, that, that screen marketplace thing on my phone. Okay. So online, yeah. Four zero one four three. We uh find the road on Sonora okay, Way. Not to worry. Not I'm just trying to ascertain where exactly this this uh, chair has come from exactly. Uh, I got the ad right here. Oh, have you? Oh, well done. I'm trying to read it now. Um, right, Mr. Bradley, because I don't, I don't have an honest held belief that you are a 83 year old drug dealer. Um, so I don't see any real benefit to detaining you or arresting you here at the roadside in relation to it. Um, however, because of obviously the amount we found, I'm, I'm going to have to ask you to come in for an interview. Are you happy to do a volunteer, uh, voluntary interview at all? I mean, I don't see why not. Okay, perfect. Um, what we'll do, I'll get your details. We still have some, uh, we still have some questions about the the security of your chair to the vehicle, but we'll leave that just for the moment. What uh? Would I be able to phone my wife? She's gonna be very worried about me. Not yet, but what we'll do is we'll look at obviously releasing you here um, at the roadside. At, what, at which point, when you're free to go, you can call her. Yes, but for the time being, we just got to do an investigation. I'm afraid. All right. Um, because obviously we found weed in the uh, chair. Do you do you have anything in the vehicle at all that you? want us or that you want to disclose to us that you shouldn't have in it any more drugs or any weapons of that description no okay in my car. say again not in my car Should okay be any any paraphernalia. okay are you happy for me and my colleague to search it quickly yeah okay i appreciate that <laughs> just want to eradicate any possibility of there being any further drugs or anything like that um or anything else found on you because otherwise it's going to be a bit yeah it's going to be a bit of a dilemma if we've let you go here <clears throat> could you pass me my gain yes of course i can all right here you go thank you okay right Lean against your car if you want to, mate. That's not an issue.
Ow, oh, high. I thought it was a bicycle. Not this high towers. Mechanic E might make the sound. That was confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Apologies for that. Okay. Right, so have you got um have you got anything out in there that will help me get this chest secured at all? Yeah, there's some rope here just Oh happy. Still have. Yeah. Yeah, you can probably use this rope here. It's like it's the same one that came off just on the back of the chair now. Yeah, I just don't. I want to make sure it's in a decent condition because Ropey's gone oh, on it has so. frayed a little. I'm not sure whether that's happened during transit or not. And I'll leave the doors open so you can secure that chair. Very shut up. <clears throat> Alright, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Alright. Um, Mr. Bradley, I've got some bad news because unfortunately the the chair in the, at the moment isn't adequately secured. You've got some wear and tear to the rope, which I'm not happy if you were to continue down Route 13 that that would stay secure to your vehicle <clears throat> I'm just wondering do you have anyone or do you know of anyone that might be able to fit this chair in their vehicle with a van or something like that at all no okay okay I'll sit tight for me and I'll see what I can do Aren't saying the greatest place. Eh, still identifying markers. <sighs> oh. 
Malachi. No, but I don't. I live uh, just just up that road. <clears throat> it's an hour road just there. So I can walk it. Right, Mr. Bradley. Um, unfortunately, I'm not all that happy that the chair's secure at the minute. Um, what I can do for you as an alternative is, um, we can have the vehicle recovered and obviously have the tow driver give you a lift to your residence um, and they will be able to secure your vehicle and also the chair adequately however this will be at your cost or alternatively you can have the vehicle recovered to the city impound lot um, which will be on our cost however it's then it will you will then be charged a daily fee for the amount of days that it's in that lot until you can obviously have um someone recover it or someone recover the chair and the vehicle or at least secure the chair more adequately um uh, i mean i can get a tow vehicle i can get a tow vehicle maybe uh isn't the chair meant for you guys with an investigation? Let's say that again, sorry. We've already secured the evidence we need. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we're happy that there's nothing else left in the chair. We're just worried about the weed and where that's come from. That's already been secured. As, as far as the chair goes, it's just as well we sort of got it <clears throat> off you when we did, or got the weed out of it when we did. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah. In, in terms of your options then for recovery, what what are you more willing to do, sir? Well, uh, I will pay for a, a recovery service to come get me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, dogs. Um, we'll make those arrangements, and then obviously we'll see if uh, County Tow can. Well, County Tow should be able to give the driver a lift at least to uh, your choice of residence. All right. She said I will be back in a moment. Uh, on Suncom, start me. County Tow 7287 Vinewood Park Drive, please, for a vehicle with an insecure load. Maybe you can have this old paper map. I do a circle where the uh, drugs came from. Sure, thank you. Yeah, 9183. 9183, right, thank you. And, um, even though I got the vehicle pulled over, who's the primary owner? Uh, I'll take it if needs be. Hudson technically got wiped out by a local, so. All right, well, appreciate you. Um, he's out. He's got all of his documents back, and um, he's obviously free to go. Yeah, happily. All right, I'm gonna go check radio towers, maybe. If you want to, mate. He's covering city tonight. Is it just you? I'm getting ready to go away because I haven't had anything to eat yet tonight. Right, okay. No worries. Alright, then. All right. out. Take care, mate. <clears throat> 300, uh, you can mark me back 10-8. Him, to be honest, actually, guys, so yeah. <clears throat> right. Mr. Bradley, are you okay? 300 Central, can get a medic to my location. It's going to be the off ramp uh, near the post of 7288 off the freeway by the casino. Got a gentleman holding his chest here. You're right there, Mr. Bradley. Yeah. You sure? Oh. 300, can you come in here, located? Northbound LS uh, Freeway, uh, it's going to be the Vinewood Bowl exit, uh, north of the casino. Um, yeah, Mr. Bradley, Bradley can, I just keep, can I just, uh... That works. Engine 7, Medic 7 en route. Hey, oh, whoa, 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 okay. 300 to Medic 7, uh, code 3, he just fell on the floor, on the ground. 
Yes. Yeah. Maybe nap time, I don't know. <laughs> I hope it's just a bad case of narcolepsy. Not something I else. I hope so. Uh, hang on, it's breathing short quick. One sec. Alright, let me relay that to the medics so they understand when they get here. Yeah, just uh, let them know he's, he's unconscious but breathing at this moment in time and his breathing is laboured. Paramedic 7, uh, status update on the patient. He is unconscious, breathing, and labor breathing. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Bradley, can you hear me? Mr. Bradley here, who's 83 years old, uh, he was initially stopped for insecure load, um, however, he, during the traffic stop, he's collapsed, um, was clutching his chest, he's unconscious but breathing, um, he's wincing in pain every time I'm trying to shake him gently to um, get his attention, and he is also, he's started sweating quite badly, he's cold to the touch at the moment. How old is he? 83 years old. Got it. Yeah, I'm not entirely can sure we... if this is a cardiac arrest or not. Can we get this car out of the way? Yeah. I'll prep for uh, 12 lead. Okay. Yep. Get a 12 lead started. Um, at least get a read. Do you need anything uh, from me, Briggs? Uh, <clears throat> vitals, if you can get them for me. Yeah, try hey, uh, give me a O2 uh, Chief I'll start since I'm at his head. Here you go. Uh, his pulse is quite erratic at the minute, but that's the best I'm getting at the moment. Do want to see if we can try and get the AED to give him a reader's rhythm. Not until I get an actual rhythm first on the... Uh, yeah, Roger. Probably. All right, 12 leads on. I'll, uh, I'll put on the shock pads as well. Yeah, please. It's going to be extremely tachycardic. We are essential. Can I get a uh, air bed unit uh, one up and standing by? For a three and four one, I can activate an eagle if you'd like. So we're just going to take him to pillbox. He's not going to be stable to go in a helicopter. Yeah. Sheriff! Shall I want to the BCS units? Apologies. Um, this gentleman's probably not going to be stable enough to travel by flight at this time. Sorry, I tell we did try telling you. <laughs> no, I was just trying to get him on standby. I wouldn't have him. Ah, yeah, Roger. Stand by and activate. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what what we got there, uh, Chief? Have we got O2 on him at the minute? Yep. Cool, happily. Okay, shock pads are on. Did 
director or when you ran his name on the traffic stop, did he have any flags for medical reasons? I didn't run his name, mate, just his vehicle. Hmm. Yeah, let me check, because I have, I have a total for my guys, so... Alright. I'm not showing any medicals on there. Right, okay. Someone do a, um, check his blood sugar for me. Hey, I got it. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, all yours, Jay. Let me hand this off to you guys. I'm gonna quickly just block the line, protect your medic. Thank you. Oh my god, we're on fire type situation. Apparently. I guess the, uh, even though he was going to be let loose, I guess it was just too much of a strain on his system. Maybe, mate. It was quite odd, to be fair. I wouldn't have trusted him getting that chair off I mean, of I had, the car. I had to throw him in cuffs just... On. I mean, I had to throw him in cuffs just because the yeah, had and all that, and suspicion nah, and all that. You're good. Let's go check on him. Can I bear, lads? We're we're doing stuff. Well, I hope so. EMS doing stuff. Got it. You want me to go with you, Chief? Hold on. Nothing in his file for medical? No, I checked it. It was nothing there. <clears throat> Search his car. See if there's anything in there for blood sugar or diabetes. Okay, dogs. <clears throat> we didn't find anything on the initial search, so. No, okay. that's what I'm thinking. We'll double check. Sat. While you're at it, check for uh, possible uh, nitro, nitroglycerin. Yep. Chief, uh, 
I see it. Briggs, I got nothing in here. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't see anything in the club box either. Thank you. We got an ID on this guy. Nigel Bradley, 83 years old. All right, give me a sec. Hi, Tab, you still got a spot? Nigel! I uh, put everything in the bag of his pocket. All right, okay, get on site. Should be in the left pocket. Hey, oh! Oh. Eve. Are you going to shock him? No! I don't know what that was. There, yeah, Briggs Mara, just to... Briggs, am I right just to check if his phone's still on his person? Ah, look at there. Yes, go. Cool, thank you. G, get ready to load and go. Yep. Grab the backboard. Alright. Did you just backboard basically punch him? Minute. Pretty much. Alright. Alright, yeah, I'll go with you. If in doubt, clobber an elderly pensioner. Got it. Well, we're caught. Hey, ready just to slide him? Yep. Okay. We'll just put him right up on the uh, cot here. Mm -hmm. My count or your count? Your count. Uh, Thanks, Hightower. Yep. One, two, three, slot. Here we go. Perfect. Are you right? Yep, right left. Yep. Your count. One, two, three, left. There we go. Up, up, and away. Hey, right, well, if you got this, I'm going to book on out to that next thing. Yeah, go for a hotel. Three are you show me responding to station seven. Good. All right. Hey, Briggs. Ew. Mrs. Bradley complaining or saying that he's had some chest pain for a few weeks. Never booked to doctors for it, though. Thank you. All right, Mike. Seven in route, no box, code three.
<laughs> that's a, that's a slight issue. <laughs> Where's that guy running? Hello, did I just see that right? Stevens. Jesus Christ. Alright. I'm guessing they want me to disappear first because, yeah. come back out
Seven zero nine five. Charlie one two SAFRS be advised. Uh, is that the tattoo shop right next to the bank? Uh, I, I believe so. Okay, Roger, be advised. I'll make my way round there, but I didn't observe any smoke or flames issuing, so it could just be an automatic fire alarm. I'll uh, confirm when I swing back around again. 9767 is around. 320, I'm less than 3 mics out. Do you need me to attach? Negative, standby, Shira. Sure. Tempo. Yeah, be advised, I've just swung by. Property name's going to be Blazing Tattoos. Um, there is no, well, no actual fire visible. There is a uh, TV screen of fire showing, but uh, no actual fire showing. No smoke issuing either. And in seven copies. Building. Nothing showing, 1917 investigating. 9767, unseen. Don't want those fire personnel be advised. You got a downed civilian just up the street from you. Looks like there might be the bank tellers actually attending to him at the minute. Yeah, I'm on my way over there. 320, I'm going to go 10 8, code 6 in case the situation changes. Yeah, it's on for sure. You okay there, bud? 701 dispatch, Sherby County Medic. Uh, is there right? Three to my location. I, it looks like you got knocked out. I'm not sure. Hey, Buzz Lightyear, can you hear me? Uh, I think I've pulled a neck muscle somehow, guys. Oh, God, that's... I don't know what's going on with the... Oh, so... I suppose you got CCTV showing outside here, do you, mate? Yeah, if you want to come with me. Happy. Also, how long has that bank truck been out here for? Uh, they're dealing with something inside in the safe. All right, okay. Cool, thank you. Just be advised of um, at an individual that seems to be having a medical episode outside the uh, bank. I'm interior now just to gain CCTV. Okay.
seven one Charlie one county medics are treating patient now. Seven one one received. Dispatch seven zero one. I'll be back in as command at the blazing tattoo parlor. Five four seven zero one. Go, man. Uh, still trying to understand this alarm panel. Copy. Charlie 1754, if you try speaking to it in Mandarin, I hear that works better. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. And he's having trouble, he's like having trouble understanding the fire panel. From a, uh, uh, it might work. Employee yeah, right. Will be uh, available. 10 4. Copy, dispatch could be false alarm, all fire units and service returning from blazing tattoo. Hmm. You see that, boss? I do indeed. Alrighty, do you want a copy of it? I can put one on a uh, CD or a thumb drive. Uh, please, Mike. Thank you. But yeah, um, the bank truck should head, be heading out here within like the next half hour. They're just dealing with something downstairs. Happy. No worries. Alrighty, I'll buzz you out and everything. Appreciate it. Ready? Thank you. You're I don't know why I just jumped there, but okay. Oh, I lied. Got some glitch. Question going on here. Alright. Cool, thank you. Need you need anything else from me, boss? Nah, that'll be it, thank you. I'll go see if I can uh, have a word with that red haired female if she's still about. Alright. I'm just gonna come out here and smoke again. Yep, no worries. Been slow as shit today. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, oh, hang on, here we go. Director Will Shield, San Andreas Department of Public Safety. Uh, do you have any idea why I might be talking to you at the minute? Mm. Is it because of the local? Mm-hmm. Any, re any reason why you sparked him out? He started on me. Okay. Why don't you walk away? Huh? We start on you, why didn't you walk away? Well, he swung at me. Okay. And I had to defend myself. Right, okay. Uh, what caused him to start on you, do you reckon? I have no idea. Okay. Tried, did you try a female. You tried de escalating it, or, you know, trying to back off? I all? did. I, I tried to say, please do not do this. I don't, I don't mean anything, and then he just swung, and then I knocked him out. Alright. Alright, you got a name at all? Yes, yeah, Sarah. What's your last name, Sarah? Lily. Alright, sit tight with me. No problem.
Alright. Um. Yes. Not getting anything back on your. on the system. You mind telling me why you didn't call 911 after you uh, knocked him out? Uh, oh, yeah, I've got you back, but there's no no previous interactions with police around. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I got a little bit scared because I don't normally hit people. Okay, but you didn't, what, seek help, 911, or seek medical for the gentleman? Uh, I checked he was alright if. when. When I finished, knocked him out. That um, well, I, your I lucky fire was, was here for the fire alarm that was actually next door, okay? So, uh, okay. next time, like, do what you gotta do, but make sure that you are. What the? Make sure you are seeking out the proper. And instead, like, goes back and forth. Once you've, um,. Obviously, once you've had to do what you've had to do, all right? Uh, okay. All right. All right. Unless you got anything from me, free to go. Nope, I have nothing. All right. You take care. Okay. Shall the one I'll be code for tonight? Show me on route to that latest 911. X-ray won't be advised as a team. For now, please, Frost, you guys have attacked the call team. 
definitely want to, if I can beat it to the 13-15 split, which I think I might be able to, I'm going to set up a Barracuda, which is like truck spike strips on this vehicle. It might possibly have the call right now. That's received on the Delta. Route 1 truck is now passing Fox truck. Do one eyes on. Charlie, want to have spikes ready at Delta. Shot, shot, shot. Rap one, break off. Rap one, copy is breaking off. Charlie, one to four one. Give me twenties uh, on this truck if you can, please. Vehicle is southbound. Automatic shots fired from the vehicle. Be safe. Come on, be advised of an armored vehicle, we're still southbound, coming up to Delta. Charlie 1, visual with the truck, visual with the truck, stand by, spikes are out, spikes are out. Charlie 1, spikes are up. Positive effect on spikes, I believe, from stand by. Another one, 401, which, uh, which route did he take? Left, left. Made that end up a bit yesterday. Another one, 401, uh, just back off it, back off it. I'm with you now, I'm secondary. Southbound, on the Palo Freeway, heading to Walden. Georgia Gas Station, 3064. Four or one, just back off and give it some room. Keep an arm with me, I'm alright for now. Right, away. Still southbound Polar Freeway. Outside of weapon effective range this time, still southbound. Garfield, channel 401, I'm gonna break off, start DPS1 from up support. Careful. Enter the first bit of email. Against traffic, against traffic, stand by. Passing below. We're going eastbound, eastbound, towards the fire station. There goes the MRA. Firehouse 7, get indoors. 7, where are you in Sandy responding to Polito currently? We're off, off the freeway, stand by. Tell the one changing call sign, new call signs, DPS 1, DPS 1 is pulling up. Westbound capital. Then <laughs> West Capital coming up to Central Medical. DPS one positive rate positive climate skids up mobile airborne to instant. Or airborne mobile to instant. Oh. Close to vanilla unicorns, bye bye. We are northbound, northbound on On strawberry now, pal. Then going now, pal. Towards silver. Passing by billboard. Correction, we're going in the underpass 
next to the pillbox heading westbound. DPS 1 overhead, no visual. Going westbound, coming out of the tunnel now. DPS 1, I got a visual. Vehicle is westbound integrity way, take the southbound turn onto Alta. Passing through San Andreas, still southbound Alta, approaching Vespucci. Eastbound Vespucci. And it's going to be southbound on Elgin. Or correction, southbound on Power Street. Eastbound on Adams Apple. No. Stand by, could be going on the freeway here. It's going opposing on the freeway, opposing on the freeway. Units don't follow in opposing traffic, please. Hold your free stop. DPS 1, that vehicle is currently eastbound and westbound lanes on the Del Perro. DPS-1, that's received. Vehicle's now correct lanes on the 15, heading back towards Blaine County. Can I get you to 20? DPS-1 be advised, 4-1 and 4-3 are still in the city. DPS-1 is tracking this uh, armoured car at the moment. <coughs> DPS-1 vehicle is off, 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 off at small marker pink, heading on to, uh, I believe it's going to be Sustantia Road, outside DPS up support. Vehicle is overtaking on a blind bend, standby. <laughs> Vehicle is now back towards the city on Sustantia Road. Vehicle's just made a TC with a member of the public, Sustantia El Borro Boulevard, still continuing. Done my vehicle stopping, vehicle stopping. Vehicle is continuing now southbound on Sustantia again. Good night, so I'm back to your friend of going by weapon. Copy, be advised this vehicle is approaching uh, Station 7's area again. Is static again, standby. Yeah. Yeah, he's static on Sustantia. He's actually gotten out of the truck, standby. Oh, shit. DPS 1, be advised, we're taking fire, we're taking fire. DPS-1 be advised, you've got one on the uh, driver's side of the truck, appears to be incapacitated, but can't confirm. Engine 7, go in route back to 3. 
take us one to SAFRS. Can we have you stage, please, at DPS op support? We have a armored truck now well alight. Okay, we're in we're in route from Toledo. Ten four. Postal for op support is nine three nine three. And four one four only gets to nine three eight nine. Northern side of the mountains up here, clear. Turn off on DPS one, we get to RTB and come back down here on Stalker. So far, we're just going to check the uh, eastern mountains now for you. One mountains appear clear. Be advised, I've got SAFRS on approach to you now. SAFRS um, after the junction. Uh, going to advise caution on that right-hand bend. It's going to be right on that right-hand bend. And four. Down and just walking up the road, 
Yes, we can fit one non-ambulatory and two ambulatory. That's all fine, so my voice will be you in contact with the easy first, pick up and go. Very safe. This is Road 7, it's all on the computer, been en route to Ocean Medical. On scene at Ocean Medical, I am now clearing Ocean Medical. What? <laughs> be advised, we do have one female on our feet with a arm detached on the rest of the body. We want SRT medical on the team handling. Two for general. Which location? 9389, the Road. 9, 3, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10. Mm. 8-1, DPS, or Screamer 1, do you have a EOD robot? Uh, we will do, yes. A <sighs> front. Uh, when I can get Screamer 1, where is it? 2018, I think it's in the 28th, yep, there it is. Cool. Alright, uh, yeah, that way please. Whew. Hang on, why the... I hate the one does this every damn time. There we go.
we'll just park this here for now. So you go first. No, he wants to truck around that way. How damaged is it? It's just not. It's whatever. She shot me with three nine millimeters. Just light bullet holes all over it. Okay. Nothing to paint. paint job and a few windows where it yeah, breaks. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Okay. So, we have a plan. <laughs> that walk was something else. None of us I'm are going near it as of, for, as of yet. Okay. So, what? Well, that's we why I asked if you have. That's why first. I have. Yeah, that's why I yeah. asked if you had a robot so we could send the robot down first, mm -hmm. see what we're working with, and then make yeah. a new plan from there. Yeah, that works. So, what I was thinking is we send your robot, uh -huh. if the robot's unable to access the quote-unquote alleged explosives, then I will send one of our drones to attempt to get under the vehicle. Right, and then, okay. in the case that the drone isn't able to pretty much ram into it and hope for the best, then that's going to lead to us walking in there with MRAP and then me planting explosives myself. Yeah. Doing a controlled detonation. Well, we can do a controlled detonation with the robot resort. anyways. Yeah. So, See, I was... I, well, that was a plan, but I didn't want didn't you to... Yeah, I didn't want you to lose a robot, so yeah, that's why that's, I was kind of against that's it. That's up to you, but w if you want to do that and you're willing to... That's your equipment, so... No, so... So the, the robot can plant a remote explosive and then withdraw. It, do, it It's not like, yeah, and either way. No, I, I get where you're coming from, yeah, but I would rather see what we're working with first to see if we even need to do that. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm just giving you options on the table here. Yep, no, that's fine. So just grab, <laughs> mm -hmm. just get your um, robot set up and with your guys and send it in. We'll wait and see what you guys come back with. Okay, no worries. We're going to get some stuff set up on our end. Yeah, happy days. Alright. I'm gonna go prep the drone just in case. Yep, here. We'll find some way to. Alright. You get going. Yep. Alright. Yes, sir. <clears throat> we're good to go. Alright, we're gonna try and just hide behind the MRAP if all possible and let you guys yeah. work. I heard the That's beeping fine. from the driver's side of the vehicle, so the right side for, compared to us right now. Right, okay. It was yeah. several rapidly paced beeping. Okay. So, the driver's side of the. 
dark side of the armored truck, yeah. Yeah, so on, our perfectly. right, so looking at yeah. it right now, the right side of it. Yeah, happy days, alright. How the fuck did it go to this? <laughs> Right, um, right, drone and all that shit. Do you know where, yeah. how do I set that up? I got it. Cool. We have no radio, so that's why it was hand signal. <laughs> <laughs> no Excuse radios. me. You're fine, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Just so you are aware as well, key areas of interest are under the truck, as far as we can okay. tell. Okay, no worries. Yep. <clears throat> Like putting a C4 charge together on the fly. Yeah. Drone's good to go if we need to go that route. Mm -hmm. all right. <clears throat> We're all good on the charge side too. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> found your device, yeah, Frost. Yep, yeah. well, found two devices actually. One's on a, mm. one's on a timer with a C4 trigger. Looks kind of, well, harshly made. Um, and the other one looks like it's possibly motion detection, motion detection. Looks like it's got some sort of fluid inside. Oh, mer Mercury Tilt Detonator, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, let me just check that. <laughs> it's a tilt pressure fuse. That's what that is.
User joined your channel. Don't know who we've got just joining there, but we'll see. Oh well, he came back at a very bad time. Who? Oh. Nick. Ah. He's gonna ask for a radio check, and not one person's gonna respond to him. <laughs> Someone's going to have to re put out a that. message saying that the radio's in this area. Oh, and yeah, because it's only the area in this area. Yeah, we ain't going to be answering shit. Because oh. <clears throat> we can't hear him anyway. Mm -hmm. That was the first thing I said the second Hudson came over. Me, oh, I, like, guys. I want everything shut off. Yes. 47 seconds and counting. Fuck it, All let right, it. Well. Let, fuck it, pull your robot back and just let it yeah. detonate. So are we confirmed that this is a timed and pressure sensor type thing? Timed one, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> pressure sensor just looks like a backup in case the timer fails. Yeah. Well, Let's not get behind the off, <clears throat> Hopefully everybody listened and got us far back and we're the only ones that's close enough. We are IC fire personnel. Okay, there it goes. That there was close. X-ray 3, give me a head count of all personnel on. Radio's no work, remember? Well, we're clear now, I think. X-ray 1, fire personnel, be advised. You have a green light to move in and extinguish the plane. All explosives and pressures have been ended. Say we are, mate. Yeah, I heard doesn't... two explosions. Yeah. Maybe three. Yep. Uh oh. You can tell I've dealt with these things for too long. I didn't even have your pro on. It didn't even affect me. Yeah. Yeah, that that, that seems like a lot more flames than usual. Yeah, it's definitely. Right, who cut the blue wire? No one, we didn't touch anything. Timer. It was on a timer. Why are the flames green? I don't want to do bad. Give me tanker and my Yeah. So I'm gonna. Charlie 1 to SAFRS personnel, be advised. Polly's picking up a significant CBRNE threat. Advise hazmat this location. Yep. Guys, get gas masks up. Here, Hudson, I have a spare one if you want it. I have two of them on me. There you go. Charlie one all units on the scene if we can get you masked up close. <clears throat> Charlie one, I got no significant wind wind shift or wind direction at this moment in time. Uh, threat is relatively localized for the time being. <sighs> I blame you. You would. Oh, look at your tagline. Say again? Look at the tagline on the back of your truck. Still playing with fireworks. Well, technically, we're not wrong. Mm.
That's a lot of foam. I was wondering why Wally was doing a very quick re, uh, retreat. Zero, two, two, zero. Zero. Well, this is lasting longer than I thought. <sighs> Charlie wants to fire first now, be advised. Um, Polly's picking up a definitive CBN, uh, CBRNE uh, threat, but she's actually unable to identify the chemical that she used. She's just identifying that is a chemical of some sort. 10 4 7 1 7 5 4, pull back, load of burn off. No, we have Squeaker 5, fuck off. Negative. I'm sure DPS won't miss it. Negative. No. I, I I'm getting just another, I'm gonna just get I'm a different I'm basically now the worthy. accountant for Blaine County Sheriff's Office. And yep. No. Anyway. So y'all buy out of me. Basically, pretty much. I, it, I was tempted to even say no about the Mustang, too. I got word about the Mustang, and I was gonna say no. User joined your user channel. User joined your channel. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was about to say no. We're gonna go ahead and what? evacuate the three mile radius. <laughs> Did we get another nine on one? Yes. Uh, well, Hudson, we don't we don't need Squeaker Four anymore. If you want, you can go to it. Yeah, this is your problem. Charlie, one, two, sure. uh, three, twenty. If you can just make sure they fix it. One, please. Uh, be advised on cut zero, I'm reloading. Hudson's going. Pretty safe, we got 4 one going to it. He can go to it as well, just once he figures his life out. <laughs> uh, I can't at the minute, so I've got to let Polly just monitor this. Yeah, that's fine. I'll route him in a minute. Yeah. 81320, are you back at 8 or are you still setting up? Take us that he's still setting up. 8179. Probably. Are you fully set up again or are you still in the process of doing so? Stand by. That's not okay. If that was a yes or a no question. It, that, that is a yes or a no question, sir. <laughs> God damn it. Don't worry, Will, that will not live in your parking lot very long because it needs to be repaired anyway. Nah, that's fine, dude. Sounds good, Tommy. Show me back available. 10 8. X ray 1, 2, 3, 20. If I could have you en route, please. 80, 30. Out in front of San Andreas as for the latest time of one call to assist 401. 10 4 uh, 401, I'll be en route. DT is about 5. If you say it slowly, he gets it. Some people talk too fast. It's understandable. <clears throat> is the media already here? Son of a bitch. There's a helicopter above us. Or at least was. No, I'll see. Oh, there. Because I just got another. I just got another no, no uh, news ping. 
Yeah, when I was setting up the drone, I happened to look up and I seen a helicopter. Yeah, they're... Ooh. Oh, look, there they are. God yep. damn it. What? Quote, unquote. Yeah, all right. So, um, uh, director, when you was up in uh, GPS one, did you uh -huh. happen to have any communication with Weasel News? No way. Well, they was just off your left. It's Briggs. Briggs uh -huh. is the one telling them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> well, you did have Weasel News in your airspace. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Just to let you know. Ah, fantastic. I didn't have a That's what I was that. Someone, all, someone yeah. left in a green and red private helicopter from your op support as well down in this direction oh, when I was I passing it. I kicked him out. Oh, okay. That's why oh, yeah, I seen him as Weasel News coming out. <laughs> Uh, no point out. We've been here for an entire day. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. That's some bullshit. Oh, okay. That smoke is something Charlie else. Charlie okay. One Polly's picking up a uh, chemical vapor coming off of the affected area. Um. We will we'll advise your hazmat to attend the scene rather than uh, you guys risk yourselves for the time being. <clears throat> yeah, we need to minimize all skin contact possible. Absolutely. I'm willing to deal with a lot of things, but not no vapor. No, right? Hold on, we're going to be 8156 in November. 10 9 that portal. 100%. Recommend we keep the road closed for. I'm going to recommend we keep the road closed for the at least the remainder of the night. We'll have hazmat check it out overnight, or county hazmat check it out overnight at least. Will we just leave it with your DPS guys then? Probably with SAFRS to be honest. We're just here for the explosive part now that that's over. All right. <clears throat> Stand by. I'll check with Briggs. I was having a stroke in the middle of saying all that. Apparently. It's more worth oh, finding no. out if he wants LEO presence. Yeah. I'm trying to assume he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If so, <laughs> Will, I'm sure the, your guys up at your op support HQ would love the overtime. Yeah, right. Charlie 1701. Go. Recommendation for tonight is that we keep this road closed and have uh, Hazmat or EPA come out to uh, monitor the situation overnight. 10 4, I already have EPA ground. Okay. Now we're saved. Right, I think that's the green light for us to then uh, Fox shot Oscar, guys. Yep. What are you? Alright. <clears throat> Charlie 151, um, are we alright to start packing up then and hand this over to you guys until EPA comes? Yeah, you guys clear, clear off. Go Hey Steve, many thanks.
Screamer 1, we're going to be RTV back to op support. We're going to be code 4107. Mm -hmm. 403, I'll be 10 <laughs> User disconnected from your channel. Charlie, well, I'll be able to reach that last number one. Tector 8 1, you show me 10 7 10 42. <laughs> All county, all BTSO personnel are now county. <laughs> 20, I'm around the corner from last time. I want to be around. Disconnected from your channel. Tempo. Other one, two, five personnel, you guys are in that latest normal one. Ten four, medic, seven in row. Receive, thank you. Do the ham licks because apparently Sheriff Boy over there don't know how to do it. Mike, you lean forward for me. Mike, you lean forward for me at all. Yeah, he's still fine. Alright. Oops. I see there's a lot of uh, muscle spasms going on today. 
Alright. Yeah. I gave him a dry one because I didn't want. I didn't, I'm the fat ass here. They're my donuts. Yeah, right, I'm still wedged in there, mate. Hey, have you got tweezers, Rob? Yep, that's what yeah. I'm gonna do. Yeah, hang on a sec. I can't watch it, that's nasty. Alright. Alright. Give it, let me try this real quick. You good? Uh, damn. How long have you been choking for? <gasps> there we go, we got him. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Happy you can breathe now? Uh-huh. Good. Oh, well, next uh, time I'm in place. Your buddy, he refused smoking. to help. He what? I. He refused to help. He said medical was a car. He refused to help. <laughs> well, let That's me take you over. I died. Gosh. God damn it! Tyler, we Gosh. got uh, we got everything under control here now. Seven's fine. <laughs> Literally, just as you got here. Have fun. Oh, okay then. Revenge number. God damn it! That's not right. He refused to help. What do you mean he actually refused to help? He said Michael was around the corner and didn't do nothing. He said what was around the corner? He said Michael was around the corner and didn't he refused to help. That's not right. I couldn't die. Okay. I didn't know the Heimlich procedure. It doesn't matter. You still try. <laughs> you should have did what he did. <laughs> Smack me on the back. Well, I believe his uh, badge number is uh, 320. Oh, with the dear. Los Santos County Sheriff's Department. I can see he's with that. I just need his name. Uh, Shira. Okay, that's all I need. Oh. Yeah. Alright, all you good now? I died. Yeah. You, you wanna, nah. you wanna well, go you're to the alive, hospital? So that's the main thing. Still, <laughs> it's not right. He should have helped. Oh, no. Do you need to go to the hospital at all, or...? Nah, I think I'm good. I just, right. I'm just waiting for my for, for the guy from the studio to come get the get the Space Rangers car. Okay. All right, stand here at the bottom. I, I'm not gonna be able to. I just see gloves I got on. They don't come off. So, uh, can you oh. do it for me with my permission? Uh, I believe it's considered crazy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Will, can you sign yeah. for him? Uh. I give you my permission to sign, so I don't gotta go. I can't with the with the gloves; they don't come off. It's all uh, one big suit. I'd say just try your best, mate, and then at least yeah, even we'll if it doesn't look a, like it, we can. We'll give you've you got a, witnesses. Uh, we'll give you the <clears throat> uh, the little tablet pencil thing. It's not working. God damn it! Why do they have to do this fucking stupid ass shit with the costume? Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to use the pin. Yeah, yeah give him the pen. Oh, Christ, well, that's one Here you go. Are you sure you chew it properly this time, mate? Don't end up like your mate. Well, I'm not a monkey. I know how to eat you. That's me. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you when we get back. <laughs> Can I just slap him now? Y'all say you didn't see anything? No, right. I, I actually didn't I'm, see anything. Uh, I'm going back to station. <laughs> Medic 7 chose to clear <laughs> return to station. <laughs> Refusal sign. Yeah, literally, me and Hudson just out with these two. Uh, I will have your monkey ass call. put down. And we called them. Yeah. Trap, bitch! Of course, not real legal. Gotta get a tool. Yeah, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna tell about it. Don't worry about it, mate. <laughs> no, mate, as long as he's okay, that's the main thing, anyways. I don't know what right. like, I'm getting my ass back to the station and heading off shift, I think, mate. Alright, fuck off yourself, sure. Alrighty. Broke back monkey. 
<laughs> no, no! God damn it. Broke back monkey. I'm the only one willing to do it. All the things I wish I didn't hear. Yeah!